you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to One Soul a Night. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. 
Jesus. It's all, it's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. Ha. Oh. It's all about you, Jesus. Somebody say, I'll bring you more than a song, my God. I'll bring you more than a song, oh God. Somebody bless the Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. I'll bring you more than a song, oh God. I'll bring you more than a song, my Lord. I'll bring you more than a song, oh God. I bring you more than a song, Jesus. Cause it's all about you, my God. I'll bring you more than a song, oh God. I'll bring you more than a song, my Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. I I'll bring you more than a song, oh God. I'll bring you more than a song, oh God. Somebody bless the Lord and say, Cause it's all about you, my God, my Lord. I, I'll bring you more than a song from my heart. I'll bring you more than a song from my heart. From my deepest heart, it's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. I,
that's all about you, Jesus. I bring you more than a song, oh God. Jesus, I bring you more than a song, oh God. My heart cries out to you, my soul says yes. I'll bring you more than a song, oh God. I My soul worship you, Jesus. I bring you more than a song, oh God. More than a song, oh God. It's a life of worship. It's a heart of worship, Lord. I bring you more than a song, Lord. I bring you more than a song, oh God. It's all. Somebody shout and say, Jesus. My heart longs for you. Somebody say, Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus. Cry unto the Lord, Jesus. Oh, my heart cries out to you. Oh, Jesus. Son and the Holy Spirit. It is a platform where we project Jesus. 
It is a platform where the name of the Lord is exalted. Uh, the Bible says that if thou draw, if thou, if thou will call upon me, I will draw all men unto myself. There is no name given to men that men can be saved by the name Jesus. So Paul realized and saw something. That I may know him. In the power of his resurrection. John the Baptist saw something. And that caused him to say that he may increase, that I may decrease. David saw something unique about this Jesus. So he screamed and said, how can a young man keep his ways pure? How can David, David said, how can I keep my way pure? I don't know about you, but how can Esther keep her ways pure? It's only by living and living in accordance with the word of God. He said, your word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Tonight I welcome you in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I've said it so many times. There's something I know, there's one thing I know. That where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where there is spiritual liberation, there is a set free. Where there is a set free, there is a breaking of chains. May every demonic, satanic, spiritual chains be broken of you. In the name of Jesus. That thing that will not allow you to please God. May it be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. That thing that will not allow you to fear God, may it be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. That thing that will not allow you to prioritize Jesus, may it be broken in the name of Jesus. That thing that has blinded you spiritually, may it be broken in the name of Jesus. That thing that will not allow you to know where you are. How can you be free if you don't know you are bound? How can you be loosened if you don't know you are bound? How can you be set free if you don't know you are in captivity? How can you be liberated if you do not see that where you are, you've been captivated by a satanic demonic power? How? May somebody be liberated tonight. May you be liberated to live for him. May you be liberated to live for him. May you be delivered wherever you are at the sound of my voice. Receive the power of God. May the Spirit of God break through. Jesus! May devils be cast out in the name of Jesus. May demons flee in the name of Jesus. May satanic mirrors tonight be broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever, ever, ever, ever that every evil satanic eye is watching tonight, Tonight you are here under the powers and influence of demons. You are here, you are watching under the marine kingdom. You are watching in the kingdom of darkness. Hear me out. I bring you the name of Jesus. The Bible says that at the mentioning of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Somebody shout and say, Jesus! My God, I normally feel the presence of God every day when I come here, but tonight I feel the power of God. Jesus, the Bible says that and when the blood and water hit the earth, the Bible says the earth shook. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Christ Jesus, he is the anointed one. Tonight I bring you Jesus tonight. Ah. The Bible 
Bible says to the one who is blind, the word of God is foolishness unto the one bound. But unto the children of God, for us it is the power of God. You did not hear me, I said, I feel the power of God tonight. I have never felt this glory before. There is an anointing that flows right from the throne room of grace tonight. If you came here because of Esther Sephora, you are at the wrong place, at the wrong time, with the wrong people. But if you came here to have an encounter with Jesus, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain tonight. I feel the sound of an abundance of rain tonight. Somebody receive your healing. Somebody receive your deliverance. I see demons fleeing, flying. I see spirits being, being left in people's bodies. Be liberated in the name of Jesus. I don't have anything that I can give you tonight. Oh, how I wish I have what it takes to get you out of where you are. That addiction, but I come in the name of Jesus. There is something that is more powerful. There is something more dynamic. There is something that is fire. In the name of Jesus. Tonight I bring you Jesus. Tonight I bring you Jesus. It is a special edition. Praise the name of the Lord. And Father, I just want to welcome your presence in this place. Holy Spirit of God, the very breath of God. The very representative of Christ in our dispensation. The seal of the righteous. Holy Spirit, tonight you're welcome. Abba Father, tonight you're welcome. Yahweh, tonight you're welcome. Come and take your place tonight. Come and have your way tonight. I'm checking my Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And I'm yet to see any life that was not transformed at the encounter of Jesus. Nobody has ever encountered Jesus and their life ever remained the same. Tonight, people of God, may somebody encounter Christ Jesus tonight. May somebody encounter Christ Jesus tonight. May somebody encounter Christ Jesus tonight. May somebody encounter Jesus tonight. This is the very reason why Jesus came. So that you and I may be liberated from sin so that you and I may be set free from sin so that you and I may have the ability the power not the know-how the willingness to live for God without the cross of Calvary it wouldn't have been possible this is the capability of the grace of God the grace of God has been given so that we will have the ability, the know-how, the capability to live for Him. So far as He lived, He died for us. We got to live for Him. Tonight, even my English has changed. If only Jesus died for us, it is obvious that we have to live for Him. Living for the living for the Lord. It is a pleasure. I don't know about you tonight, but wherever he lives, I I 
will follow and whatever he says beloved I will do if he says yes I'll say yes if he says yes I'll say yes somebody say Jesus if you say yes I'll say yes Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. Oh, if you lead me, Jesus, I will go. If you lead me, Jesus, I, I will follow. If you say yes, I'll say yes. Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. Come on, sing and say, if he says yes, I'll say yes. Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. There's a new song. I don't know where it came from. If you will lead me, Lord, I will follow. Wherever you may lead, Jesus, I Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. If you say yes, I'll say yes. Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. Let this be your heart cry. Lord, if you lead me, yes, I will follow. And if you guide me, Lord, I If you say yes, I'll say yes. If you say yes, I'll say yes. If you say yes, I'll say yes. Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. Let's sing it again. If you lead me, Jesus, I. Yes, if you say yes, I'll say yes. If you say yes, I'll say yes. Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. Let's see it one more time. If you lead me, Lord, oh, 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 I will go. Wherever you may lead, Abba, Father, Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. If you say yes, I'll say yes. Jesus, if you say yes, I'll say yes. Whenever I feel the power of God like that, I can sing new songs, a lot of them. If you lead me, Lord, I will go. Get your Bible. Jesus, if you follow me, da 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 da, I will go. If you say yes, I'll say. Jesus, if you say no, I'll say. Somebody say, if you say yes, I'll say. Jesus, if you say no, I'll say. Come on, say, if you say yes, I'll say. Jesus, if you say no, I'll say. I feel your presence, oh Lord, right here. I can touch your grace, Jesus, right here. I need more of you. I need more of you. Somebody say, I.
streams of water flowing through my veins. Ah. When everybody leaves and give up on you, Jesus knew this very well that I will stay right here when you, Jesus. And if nothing ever works the way I wanted to go, Jesus, get it right here and over. I'll be right here with you. Jesus, I'm here to serve you. Jesus, I'm here to praise you. Jesus, I'm here to honor you because of who you are. Jesus, I'm here to worship you. Jesus, I'm here to honor you. And Jesus, I'm here to give you praise. I live my life for you. Somebody say, Jesus, I'm here to worship you. Jesus, I'm Jesus, I'm here to honor you, Jesus. I'm here to give you praise. Somebody give God praise. You transformed me. You made me whole. You set my life on track. I choose to bless your name. You've taken everything that is not of you out of my way. I can boldly come before you, screaming, Abba, Father. You are my Abba, Father. You are my Abba, Father. You are my Abba, Father. God, 
is coming back again to take away his bride. A holy place we will go, tears will be wiped. The new Jerusalem we all shall see with our eyes. So, somebody hear me now. Get right away, God. See, He's coming back again to take away His bride. Prepare a place for us. No sin, none shall be. We will shall, we shall dine with the Lord on that day. So, my friend. Get right with God, He's coming back again to take away His bride. A well prepared place for a righteous people. Our last supper, we will sit right there with Him. My friends, from, from tonight, get right with God. I want to say get right with God I want to say get right with God I want to say get right with God He's coming back I want to say get right with God Come on and get right with God Get right with God He's coming again there's your name written in the book of life. Surely is your name written in the book of life. Beloved, is your name written in the book of life? Be born again and get right with God. Here is your name. Written in the book, beloved in the book of life. Yes, your name written in the book, in the book of life, beloved. Yes, your name written in the book, in the book of life. My friend, get right with God. I'm asking, is your name written in the book? In the book of life, yes, your name written in the book. In the book of life, yes, your name written in the book. In the book with God, see, is your name written in the book. In the book of life, yes, your name written in the book. In the book of life, beloved. Yes, your name written in the book, in the book of life. Be born again and get right with God. See, is your name written in the book, in the book of life. Is your name written in the book, in the book of life. Is your name written in the book, in the book. Be born again and get right with God. Come on, is your name written in the book? Written in the book of life. Beloved, is your name written in the book? In the book of life. Is your name written in the book? In the book of life. Beloved, be born again and get right with God. Somebody say, get right with God. Somebody say, get right with God. Mention your name and say, get right with God. Get right with God. Come on, mention your name and say, get right with God. Get right with God. Get right with God. Get right with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
service tonight some of you perhaps don't go to church at all somebody is watching and you're wondering what is this this is foreign to you beloved we are Christians born again by the blood of Jesus I'm just saying we are sinners we are ex sinners washed by the blood of Jesus purged sanctified purified justified by the blood of Jesus through the grace of God Tonight we want to welcome you all once again in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Beloved, you are the right place at the right time with the right people on the right page. And for you to live just as you came is an error. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to study something. Tonight, as always, from work I came in, I relaxed a bit. I knew I was supposed to be here. But the concern was I was asking the Lord, what do you have for your people? I said, Lord, on Wednesday, I wanted to, today, perhaps pray with your people. But as to the word that we used to pray tonight, I don't have it, I said. So Lord, tonight, I was just lying down and all I heard was the prayer of Jabez. The prayer of Jabez. I said, Lord, okay, the prayer of Jabez. You want me to go to your people and tell them the prayer about the prayer of Jabez? I said, I will. Tonight, beloved, wherever you are, grab your Bible. I want us to, before we start anything, there's a song that is singing in my spirit. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, as you're singing, you're grabbing your Bible. What a glory He shares on the way. While we do his good will, 
abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey you do not hear me right I'm singing when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word what a glory is us on our way whilst we do his good will see your bites with us still and with all who will trust and obey trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey when we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He shares on our way. Beloved, if only we do His goodwill, then He will abide with us still and with all who will trust and obey. Beloved, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. somewhat there's a beautiful lady who sent me a message and I protect her name but I I don't know whether she's listening to me or not but I want her to know that she touched me greatly she said Esther I want to talk to you this is the message she sent me I said what is it about please she said there are many things I would want to share with you. Beloved, people are going through issues. So if you and I don't have anything to give to anybody, we must give them Jesus. Or else we must show them love. Now listen carefully. Let me lower it so I can talk. So I, she started writing. She said, I, uh, I was with a married man in court. She said, I'm in a deep mess. She said, I don't even know what to do to, with myself. She said, I was dating a married man. And I found myself pregnant. Listen carefully before you judge, beloved. She said, the man wanted me to abort the baby. So there are things, in fact, they wanted to take to abort the baby. Listen carefully. Perhaps this message is for somebody. She said, the problem was not getting rid of the baby for her, in quotes. But she said, as, as I went to the hospital to do the test, she said, another problem was I was found with HIV. Beloved, people are in trouble. She said, I found myself with HIV positive. Oh, Jesus. She said, the man went to have his blood checked. But he was negative. 
He said one of the days I actually wanted to commit suicide. Because this, I've been through so many things, but this is too heavy for me. I'm paraphrasing what she's saying. She said, she said, who do I talk to about this? I mean, who do I tell that will not judge me? Who will console me out of the errors I made out of ignorance? He said one of the days she was there and something told her to come and watch one soul a night. she knew Jesus with all this hear me carefully she said out of frustration and the depression she came to listen to the word of God glory to Jesus she gave her life she said I gave my life to Jesus that night but she said woman of God my ordeal hunts me I'm paraphrasing it. She said, I have found Christ. I am born again. All things are passed away. But my fear haunts me. I am still positive. I read it all today. And in my spirit I was saying, Is there anything? Anything, anything. Too hard for thee. Oh, is there anything? Is there anything, Jesus? Too hard for. All I could say was, is there anything? Eh, anything, anything, oh God, Jesus. Too hard for thee. Oh, is there anything? Is there anything, Jesus? Too hard for, for thee. This is a young, vibrant lady that have all her life ahead of her. Very young. Matthew 22 says, whilst we out of our ignorance, we err before him. My beloved, the truth is now we have found Christ Jesus. And indeed, all things are passed away, but all things are new. I remember, I recollect, all that came on my mind as I read her story was, Jesus loves you that much. Because I did not have more words to say. I didn't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And I said, listen, HIV is just a chronic disease. That is infectious. I was speaking out of the context of a nurse. In the context of a nurse. I said, it's another chronic disease that is infectious. I said, you're taking your drugs. The baby is protected. The beautiful thing is you're born again and Jesus loves you. It is you that sees HIV, but Jesus sees a perfect human being. I remember telling him, I, tell, I said, woman, if you can only genuinely repent before God, with God, all things are possible. What am I saying? I said, people are going through situations that they can't even tell anybody. She said, Esther, I cannot tell anybody, but I feel to talk to you. And in the deepest of my heart, I felt the love of Jesus for her. I truly felt the love of Jesus for her. Jesus came to set the captives free. He put on the thorns, the crown that was full of thorns. He said, our infirmities were taken away by his stripes. We are healed. 
Only believe. Lord, I believe. We're going to study the word in a minute. Lord, I believe. All things are possible. Lord, I believe. The Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. That all things are possible. Oh, Lord, I believe. Somebody sing to me and say, Lord, I believe. Listen carefully, we're going to study the word of God in a minute. But I want to rekindle your fire. And know that perhaps you're going through something that nobody knows. And you think you're alone. And you think you don't have anybody. But Jesus is in the midst of it all. I was reading that from my personal profile. And then I jumped and I went to the page inbox. And then a young man sent me a message. She said, Esther, I want to talk to you. She said, you know, I feel like talking to you. That is what they say. And she began, he began to write. He said, at a younger age, he said, as my parents were not at home, and I was home with my siblings, myself and my friends, I quote, we had an affair, we slept with my sister. People of God, our youth need prayer. Insist. He said, I slept with my sister. In other words, he has slept with his blood sister. And he said, I have found Christ and this is hunting me. you hear and you're like oh god lord i believe lord i believe somebody worship the lord with me and cry unto the lord all things are possible oh god. jesus lord i believe lord i believe lord saying a few another woman wrote and I came and placed it on the page so we intercede for her Jesus in a nutshell he, she had wrong, married wrongly according to her was being beaten and abused in the marriage she saw herself now committing adultery sleeping with other men even for money And it's confessing. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. All things are possible. Lord, I believe. Lord, I receive. Lord, sing and say, Lord, I receive, and Lord, I receive that all things are possible, Lord, I receive, Lord, I receive, and Lord, I receive, all things are possible. Say with me. 
All things are possible, Jesus, Lord, I Lord, I receive. Tonight, may the mercies of God be abundant tonight. May the grace of God be abundant tonight. Oh, Jesus. I want you to open your Bible. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. Wherever you open your Bible, my Bible is here. Tonight I feel the power of God in this place. We're going to pray in a minute. We're going to pray in a minute. Oh, Jesus came to set the captives free. My Bible tells me that where sin abound, even the grace of God abounds the more. Perhaps the things we mentioning, somebody's here, you're going through the same thing. And you're saying that Esther Zafuro, this story is as if you're narrating my story. I serve a God who is able to rewrite stories. My God is able, He is able, I know my God is able, I know my God is able to set you free, I know He's able, I know He's able, oh I know my God is able, I know God is able to carry you through. Let me see. He has healed the brokenhearted. He has set the captives free. He raised the death. And walk upon the sea. My God is able. He is able. Oh, I know my God is able. I know my God able to set you free for he has healed the broken hearted he has set the captives free he healed the sick raised the dead and walk upon the sea my God is able he is able I know my God is able I know God is able to set you free. My God is able. He is able. I know my God is able. I know my God is able to set you free. Why? Because I know He's healed the broken heart. He set the captives free. He the sick, raised the death, and walked upon the sea, my God is able, he is able, I know my God is able, I know my God is able to set you free, let's sing last song and then we'll go to the word of God, I need thee, oh I need thee. And every year, I need you, oh, bless, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come, I come to you. Somebody help me sing and say, me, I woe, ere I say, me, I no pandemia in your mind, Jesus, me, oh, my day, 
Somebody saying that my nephew cannot talk. I need the oh, I need thee. Jesus, somebody's receiving healing tonight. And every eye, ah, I need the oh, bless. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come. Somebody, you're listening to me. When you came and watched the program before then, you had a heavy heart. It's like heaviness. I see liberation. I see liberation. I see, I see that the spirit, the power of God enters you and you're liberated. Like you see, you can literally feel you're liberated. Give God praise for me, somebody. I need the oh, I need the, I'm not joking. And every hour, every hour, I need thee, oh, bless, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come, I, I, I come to thee, oh, I need thee, oh, I need thee, Jesus, every has come upon you and you see yourself shedding tears tears of liberation tears of joy Jesus Jesus just one so long we asking not much more Jesus say one one so Say one so, say one so tonight. Just one so, Lord. We asking not much more. We asking not much more. Jesus, say one so tonight. Just one so, Lord. We asking not much more. Say one so, Jesus, say one so tonight. Jesus, say one so tonight. Jesus, say one so tonight. Yahweh, say one so tonight. Say one so tonight. One so tonight, Jesus. One so tonight. One soul tonight, save one soul tonight. There's somebody here, you're listening to me, your bones were very weak. You have a weak bone, I don't know what it's called, but I see strength. Strength enters into your bones, your, your, your joints right now. Not tomorrow, I see it right now. Right now, like right now, like now, now. Strength, supernatural strength has entered into your joints, your bones, your marrows right now. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of healing. A lot of deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, I told you people that I feel the power of God here. It is the strength. I normally feel the presence of God, but when I feel the power of God, I see chains being broken. Chains of addiction. Cocaine. Masturbation. Drugs. Alcohol. Sex, sex addict. It is a demon spirit that is getting out of your system right now. I literally see spirits coming out of people. Like, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, tonight. The 
power of God is here so powerfully. And uh, a lot of you will testify of the goodness of God. Many diseases are disappearing. Cancer, fibroid, HIV, AIDS, blindness, deafness, and clean spirits getting out of the people of God. Jesus. Tonight, you know, we want to chat about the, the prayer of Jabez. I feel the power of God here tonight. If I don't stop and we're getting in the word of God, we're gonna we're gonna you know exalt the Lord throughout. But I see a lot of healing. Wombs are being repaired, I'm telling you. Wombs. Distorted wombs. Grab your Bible. I'm going to read quickly. And then... Uh, I'm reading from 1 Chronicles chapter 4. Verse 9. And 10. Everybody knows about the story of Jabez. In Ghana, they say Jabez. But here we say Jabez. I'm reading from 1 Chronicles chapter 4. I'm reading from 9 through to 10. I'm not going to elaborate on it so much, but I want us to stand upon it and pray. Um, please understand that he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Somebody will say, if the Lord has truly set me free, why are things not working out according to plans? You see, after we're liberated, every, everybody is born into a family. Even Jesus descends from the family of David. So everybody comes from some sort of family. And that family, there are things some of us, our forefathers have done. But thank God for the blood of Jesus. That the blood of Jesus has liberated us completely. But as we find Christ, as we find Christ, some of us, even before we found Christ, we ourselves have gotten into a lot of things. Some of you have consulted God. Some of you have done a lot of things spiritually, physically, Sometimes I tell the youth, you see, when you're having fun, you call it fun. Because I used to be like that until I found Christ. When you're sleeping around with people, you don't realize that you're harming your own body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You don't realize that there are implications that perhaps even if you don't get pregnant spiritually, there are many men, there are many souls tied to yours. We don't realize so much so that, you know, whatever you do, the Bible says that, you know, it will be, it will be pressed down, shaking together. It did not say, uh, uh, people based on this and talk about offering and stuff with it. But give and it shall be given unto you. It is, it is a principle of giving. When they say principle of giving, it works. I'm not talking about finance, but I'm talking about whatever you are able to give in your society very soon. It will be giving good measure, pressed down and shaken together. In other words, if you do good, it will be pressed down, shaken together, giving back to you. And every bad thing you're doing, it will be pressed down, shaken together, giving back. In other words, what am I saying? There's nothing you can do and hide, even on this earth, and think that you are okay. 
You see, somebody, please listen to me carefully. Somebody may have gone to sleep with someone, gotten pregnant, and have privately gone to abort the baby. And in your mind, you think nobody knows about it because you don't carry the baby around. Spiritually, there are children crying against your soul. You are here, you have aborted about 10, 5, 1, 2, whatever abortion you've done. Until we plead the blood and ask for forgiveness. You see, the soul of the children, they never die. Nobody has told you that. Eh? That is why some of you, because you, you, you are bothered so much, you see someone who is single parent, and you, you call them single parent, and you laugh at them, knowing very well that you, you did not keep your baby, you aborted your baby. So as a matter of fact, if you see someone who was bold enough to have their baby, in fact, congratulate them. Because the problem is not getting pregnant, but the problem is getting pregnant and killing the baby. Let me say that way so you understand. Every abortion, whether the fetus is a week old, a day old, two days old, three days old, it is a fetus. It has a soul. You don't know. Let me repeat it for you. I said, whether a fetus is one week old, two weeks old, four weeks old, five weeks old, it's still a baby. It has a soul. So if I were you tonight and the Spirit of God is ministering to you, some of you are men who have always forced women to abort your babies. Because of the disgrace and the shame, you are not married, so people will not think. Listen carefully. That you have given birth out of wedlock. Let me tell you tonight that many souls of many children are crying. Some of you, the reason why the baby is not coming, look at your past and begin to ask God to show you mercy. Begin to confess before God because you have murdered. You are a murderer. Why is the Spirit of God taking us? We're supposed to talk about Jabez. But the Spirit of God is taking us somewhere. Listen carefully. Somebody said, may the Lord have mercy on us. And I always get disturbed when, when people are... Don't, don't get me wrong. Witches are always going to be around. I believe strongly in the realms of the Spirit. So strongly. In fact, the spiritual things are more alike than the physical stuff. So strongly, I believe we fight not against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness in high places. But I also believe that, you see, due to our own selfish lust, we get ourselves tangled into certain things out of ignorance. But today, as you hear the word of truth, it is my prayer that somebody will repent now, now, now. But as you have heard that somebody has got HIV, and you, you are very bold talking about them and laughing at them. Hear me out. Perhaps you did not have HIV physically, but spiritually you have infectious diseases. Look at the spirits that are able to come and sleep with you at night. Look at the kind of things that come and sleep with you at night. It is worse than HIV. You're listening to me, somebody. So tonight is the best time for us to come. come before the throne room of grace and say, Lord, wash us with your blood. Purify us with your blood. Sanctify us with your blood. What am I saying? All this past that we have covered is like a closet of, you know, ugly things that we have covered. And we have had not had an opportunity for God to send someone to open your eyes to see. You see, you, need, you used to be a dragon. Dragon. When I say dragging, why you, you, you use injection to inject yourself? And now, of course, you have a disease that is incurable. Perhaps you used to be a prostitute. And today you're going through these challenges. I come here to tell you tonight, the problem is not your current ordeal. Your problem is if only you are able to confess your sins before God and genuinely repent from tonight you are free. I don't care the reports of the doctors. The doctor has given you a report, but whose report do you believe? 
Because my Bible tells me that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. If only you repent and come back to Jesus and confess your sins. Some of you, you see, you covered it. It's important to always cover and, you know, confess your secret sins. It's called restitution. It's always very important to, co to, to uncover. Never cover your errors. When you meet a man, let me tell you, and you have done plenty of abortions and you know you cannot have babies. You have found Christ. Let the man be aware that this is how I used to be. Because of my past errors, this is where I am. If you truly love me, I believe in miracles. But this is, don't hide things till somebody comes and marry you. And then you go to hospital and many, many things comes out. Jesus is ever forgiving. This is where we're going to pray. Let's read the, 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 the book. Of, the, 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 let's get into the word of God. First Chronicles chapter 4. That was just by the way. We need to confess. And we're going to pray and ask God to have mercy upon us. Sometimes when you hear. You hear somebody who murdered someone. You are the first person to scream. Murderer. You know, murder. It's surprising. You forget that you yourself, you've murdered so many times. You have done a lot of errors so many times. Somebody say, have mercy on me, oh God. According to your loving kindness. Blot out my transgressions that I may be whole. Somebody say mercy. Any case that does not have root does not work. So most of us as young ladies, young men, we've been, people have used their mouth to curse us. You know, as you, you go up after someone's husband, someone's wife, and out of bitterness, they speak against you. Now you have found Christ. It's the best time to go to God and say, Father, I've had before you. I've done all these evil things. Wash me and cleanse me. Or else very soon you, you see it coming to hunt you. Words are powerful. This whole LF was, was made just by words. 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 So that is how powerful words are. Who told you a curse that has, that has you see, a curse deeply rooted and have a root. It's very, very powerful and it works. If someone curses you and you are innocent, it does not work. But if they curse you and it has roots and you are guilty, it works. Tonight we're going to pray so much. So some of us, you see, we've entangled ourselves with so many things. And by the grace of God tonight, the Lord will show us mercy. Because somebody said we need to move on in life. We need to move on spiritually. We need to grow. The reason why some of us cannot grow spiritually is because our past, we're still standing on our, in our past. And our past hunts us. So tonight we're going to pray. But let's, let's read the word of God a little bit. First Corinthians chapter, First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9, it says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I'm reading from, I'm now going to amplify, it says, And Jabez was honorable above his brothers. But his mother named him Jabez, sorrow maker. The meaning of Jabez means sorrow maker. Saying, because I bore him in pain. Some of us, our cases are deeply rooted. Our ordeals are deeply rooted. It takes the grace of God. It takes the blood of Jesus. So if, if you, you named your child a sorrow maker, what do you think? Wherever they go, they'll project sorrow. Wherever they go, they'll project pain. Somebody say, mercy, oh God. 
Some of you, you're going through a lot of things, not because of your now. You look at your past and you can see that that, that little rat has become a dragon and it's hunting you. There's a friend who took you to one Babalawo at Africa. Somebody took you all the way to Africa. A very deep, deep, deep village. You went to consult a man privately, secretly. It's only you and your friend who knows where you went to. And you went to dig, you went to do your stuff. Up to day, that thing is hunting you. You understand? And it's surprising when they're telling you is which from your family, which from here. They don't tell you that it is your past. You have aborted so many children. So much so that the cry of the children are before God. How can this God open a womb like that? Unless we ask for mercy. You have done wrong to so many women as a young man. You have about 10 children, different women all over. You have not taken care of one. Today, you are well to do, forgotten about all of them. And married a new woman completely, leading, you are living a fresh life. You've covered all your past. The cry of your children, wherever they are, is that thing that is hunting you. So you start business, it does not work. You marry, it does not work. You marry, it does not work. Everything you're doing is not working. And you blame it on which is, no, 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 no. Go back and look for your children. Go back. Go back and find the women you've given birth with. And apologize to them. And apologize to your children. And you realize suddenly that, phew. You have committed abortion with a lot of women. A lot of women. And you see, the God we serve is a principal God. So the day you find someone that you would have loved to have your children with, the Lord shuts their womb. Sometimes it's not the devil. Sometimes it is no witches. It is the Lord himself. It is the Lord himself. Somebody say mercy. So Jabez was honorable above his brothers. That means... He was so honorable that, in fact, as a matter of fact, he was supposed to have done well. He was supposed to have flourished in everything he did because he was honorable. He was respected. When you see the brethren, I guess and I presume that you would have seen that he was unique, different. His style was different. Sometimes you can meet a lot of children and there's one particular one you see and you're like, mm, this one is different. But Jabez had a past. His mother bore him out of pain. And his name was speaking on his life. So you go to, to first, first Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. 10 says, And Jabez cried to the God of Israel. Before somebody would have cried, they would have known that whatever they are doing is not working. They have tried it all and it's not working. Their only option was to cry unto the Lord. And Jabez cried to the God of Israel saying, Oh that you will bless me and enlarge my border. That means Jabez was restricted. Curses followed him because the opposite of blessing is curses. And that your hand might be with me. First, he says, Oh, that you will bless me to enlarge my bodies, and that your hand will be with me. Three. And you will keep me from evil. For so that it might not hurt me. And God.
granted his requests. Somebody tonight, the Lord will grant your request in the name of Jesus. Tonight, somebody, the Lord will grant your request in the name of Jesus. That is why when you see that somebody is going through certain challenges, don't just look on the face value. There are things that are deeper than what you think. So you can see somebody who can marry, the marriage will be so good. Suddenly, you see them divorcing. Most of the time, it's not a witch. Oh. In fact, it's not even the innocent couple. Some of us, have, our parents have done certain things that if not by the grace of God, those things still speaks. Sometimes as a mother or as a parent, you would want you to see your children progress so much, especially women, hear me out and be careful. And because of that, you would consult anybody just to make your children progress. So people will be laying hands on your, your children. People will be laying legs on your children. You go to places, they'll give your children many things to put on their waist, many things to keep in their stuff. Your children, their soul are tied somewhere. You don't know. So they grow and there's no progress. Tonight we're going to cry unto the Lord. Perhaps it may be your family. Perhaps it may be your own self. Today's young people, you yourself would have contacted somebody. Just because whatever you're doing, you want to progress, you want to shine. You want to shine. You want to make it. You want society to know that you to your day. So you have consulted some things. And they're giving you a lot of things that you have kept in your closet. And you see, that thing is causing you harm more than good. You don't know. Tonight we're going to pray and cry unto the Lord. I always say that, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You, 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 when you're doing things like that privately, you look at your left, you look at your right, and then you enter into places you're not supposed to go. What you forget to do is to look up. Because the main man is looking at you right from up there. Somebody saying, Sempi. So you wanted marriage, you want to bind a man somewhere so that the man will marry you by force. Suddenly, the man's eye opens and realizes you are not my wife. Now you see, you have not told people about your deal, but then all you do is pray for me. But you know where you have, what you've done. It is only coming back to hunt you. We're going to pray tonight. Before we pray, if we say anything, wherever you are, I want you to just go before God and say, Lord, forgive us, oh God. Let's go to uh, my favorite Psalm 51. We're going to all read Psalm 51. And we're going to stand on it and pray, okay? That from tonight, everything that is hunting you, be it your past, perhaps you have done something that has brought some diseases upon your life, some curses upon your life. My Bible tells me that he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Today you receive your liberation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I said you receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Tonight you receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. You realize that you don't even need anybody to lay their hands on you. You yourself, you need to recognize. And to Jabez recognize he had a problem. So he said, oh Lord, that thou mayest bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be upon me and protect me from harm. We're reading from Psalm 51. I'm reading from Psalm 51 verse 1 down. It is a song of David. All of us knows about it. But tonight I want you to read it in a different manner. Get your Bible and let's do it together. Have mercy upon me, O God. According to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thine tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity 
and cleanse me from my sin. Three, for I acknowledge my transgression. You see, until you repent, you would have acknowledged your transgression. And you would have repented from your heart. So David said, for I have acknowledged my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. For against thee, thee only have I sinned and done what is evil in thy sight. He said, thou might have be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. David was saying that, Lord, you are right if you judge me. You are right whatever you want it to come upon me because I'm guilty. Jesus. Five says, Behold, I was shaping in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Right from Genesis, we've been birthed into sin, born into sin. We are all sick. We were all sick until we found, we found Christ. And now, some of us, let me tell you some of us, apart from the blood of Jesus cleansing us, some of us, our parents born, birthed us out of wedlock. And our parents did not know, so they did not even ask God for forgiveness. You see, these things comes back and hunt us. He is a God of covenants. He is a God of justice. He said, Behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desire truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with the high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness. Thou the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. It did not say the bones that the devil has broken. J. David did not say the bone that the devil has broken, no. He said that the bone that thou, O oh God, has broken. May rejoice. You understand? So some of the things, and they are not from not every every and not every negativity is from the devil. Let's read the David said, make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. That means, Lord, there are bones that you have broken. But tonight I want the bone to rejoice even as I repent. There are things that because of your word, you will not do anything outside of your word. Sometimes some of the sins, you see, some of the sins, the wages of sin is death. It is biblical until we repent. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. He said, hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. That means, you see, without repentance, the Lord cannot hide his face from your sins. Until you repent, the eye of the Lord is on your sins like that. He sees it all. The secret sins, the sins that are in the deepest of the heart. He sees it all. Until we repent genuinely, faithfully, wholeheartedly. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Now create in me until the Lord, you know, blots out our sins. Until we repent, repent completely. And the Lord blot out our transgression. He cannot create in us a clean heart. Some of us, our hearts are like refrigerator. Many rubbish have been stored here. A lot of sin. 
a lot of errors greediness anger strife hatred jealousy witchcraft see it starts from here bitterness unforgiveness strife hatred starts from here right here until we repent completely they are there and then we keep praying Lord bless me bless me bless me we're gonna pray now 10 says create in me a clean heart oh God and renew a right spirit within me restore we said hey uh, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thine Holy Spirit from me that means sin can cause God to cast us out of his presence sin can cause the Holy Spirit to leave us says restore unto me the joy of thy salvation you see most of us most of you let me tell you you are not enjoying the benefits attached to Christianity because you have not allowed Christ Jesus to create in you a clean heart ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Some of you don't have free spirits of God. Hmm. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. You don't even have joy to serve God anymore. You don't even have joy in the things of God. You just mention the name of Jesus, but deep inside you, oh, you hate truth. You hate truth because your heart is filled with evil, sin, iniquity. Somebody say mercy, oh God. He said, then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Until the Lord really cleans us completely, how can we teach sinners the ways of the Lord? And convert them back to Christ. Just as the Lord has, you know, cleansed us, we come here to tell you to also repent. The Lord speaks to all men to repent. For the kingdom of God is near. Repent from your sins. Repent from your iniquities. Repent. Repent. For the kingdom of God is near. Jesus. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways. That is why some of you Christians cannot do evangelism. Because you yourself have not repented yet. You yourself have not given your life to Jesus properly yet. You yourself have not dedicated your life to Christ yet. You are just a mere church goer. Follow, follow. Somebody say mercy, O oh God. Then will I teach transgressors your ways, O oh God. And sinners shall be converted unto thee. He said, deliver me from blood guiltiness. Deliver me from blood guiltiness. How many of us are guilty here? Deliver me from blood guiltiness. 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 Oh God. Thou God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. For thou desirest not sacrifice. Else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. 
I know some of y'all, a pastor will tell you, you see, you've done all this wrong, just bring money and your sins. No, 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 no. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God, please. Hear the word of God. Some of you, they'll tell you to come and sow a seed and then your transgressions are wiped because of your, your money. Without you repenting, without you confessing, you, 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 we, we, you see, we, we do things out of the context of God. Out of ignorance. Somebody will tell you, bring money and, you, and I'll, I'll do some, some direction for you. So your sins will, no, 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 no. Hear the word of God. The Bible says that, for thou desireth not sacrifice, else would I give it. A, uh, thou delighted not in burnt offering of a sinner. Listen carefully to the word of God. Listen carefully. Oh. Listen carefully. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. Did you hear that? The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. A broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, thou wilt not despise. <coughs> Praise the name of Jesus. 18 says, Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. You see, talking about, that's what I'm talking about protection. After you have confessed your sins, you come to God broken really transformed now the divine protection of God comes upon your life when you go to Job and read the Bible says that and, 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 and Satan said to God that you have really protected Job and because of your protection I cannot get closer to him and David when you come here saying that do good unto thy do good unto uh, do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion build down the walls of Jerusalem then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. With burnt offering and whole burnt offerings. Then shall, then shall they offer bullocks until you have repented. Until you have repented. Until I have repented. Until we have confessed our sins. Until we come to God broken heartedly. Saying that Lord we have sinned against you. Is anybody here like that? We're going to pray. Create. I'm going to sing. I don't know. My key, let me put this here. Before we sing the song. Create in me a clean heart. Oh, oh Lord. Oh. And we know our eyes fail. Within me, oh, 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 cast me not away from thy presence, oh God, and take not thine holy spirit from me, oh, oh restore, restore. going to pray tonight. You're going to God tonight and say, Father, wash me with your blood. I have sinned against you and thou only have I done what is evil in your sight. Tonight you're opening your mouth and you're praying and you're saying, Lord Jesus, you're saying, Lord Jesus, you're saying, Lord Jesus, it's only you have done what is evil. I've done what is evil in your sight. Wash me and cleanse me. Purify me, oh God, with your blood. Sanctify me with your blood. Everything I've done against you, out of your will, oh God, out of ignorance, knowingly or unknowingly, I plead the blood of Jesus. Somebody, you're here, you're praying. You're saying, Lord Jesus, 
every sin committed, every sin committed, every sin committed, every sin committed, every errors committed, every errors, oh God. Let your blood speak tonight. Let your blood speak tonight. Wash me, oh God. Forgive me, oh God. Forgive me, oh God. Wash me with your blood. Tonight, somebody, you're going before God and you're saying, Lord Jesus, wash me with your blood. Father, set me free. Father, set my mind free. Anything that has been taken captive over my life against your will, tonight, wherever I have been to, that I wasn't meant to go to, that Lord Jesus, they have done some incantation, some rituals over my life, my destiny. And those things are speaking against my destiny. Tonight, oh God, let your blood, let your blood nullify, let your blood nullify any negativity, any negativity, anything that is not of you. Somebody, you're praying, you're saying, Lord Jesus, everything I've done that is against your will, everything I've done that is against your purpose, anything I've done, if ever I've gone against your will, I've gone ahead of you in life, in any way, shape, or form, in my marriage, my relationship, in my job, everything. I'm going on, I'm coming in. If I have never placed you as a priority, if I've never inquired of you of anything, Lord, come on, somebody, you're praying. According to Psalm 51, we come before you, Daddy. Jesus, according to your word, according to your word, oh God, wash us with your blood, cleanse us and purify us, oh God, sanctify us, oh God. Oh Jesus, any sin that has become a blockade in our life, any blood that is speaking against our lives, any sin that has caused, you see many different types of blood speaking against us, different altars speaking against us. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus. May the blood of Jesus speak against every evil altar, any evil altar, any evil altar. that man that woman based on something you went to collect and you see according to the principles of life you have to do same ritual to maintain that marriage now you have found Christ not only do you have to confess but you have to ask God to have mercy on you Because anything, I always say, anything you did not start with God, never think you will finish with Him. Anything that you don't allow God to start you on. If you did not invite Him in in the first place, He will not override your will to come in. Tonight somebody will bring and say, Father, 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 some of your parents, hear me out, some of you parents, like me, a single parent, let me tell you, we who birth our children out of wedlock, there are a lot of prayers we've been praying, and some of you, all your children are out of wedlock, and you have never taken a day to pray for forgiveness for yourself, to pray for God to have mercy on your children, to pray for God to show your children mercy. So your children grow and they are repeating history. And you're blaming which witch. When was the last time you interceded for your children? Some of you or some of you listen carefully. You went to take someone's husband by force. You married the man by force. Whilst the woman was crying, you married the man by force. And out of that, you're giving birth to children. Suddenly, things have never worked. You need to confess and repent. You got that post. Listen, you got a post at work. Because you took the one who was in charge of that post somewhere. So that he would be kicked off so that you would get that post. 
and now you have gotten that post and since you got that post you've never seen peace you see God is a God of justice until you repent you will never know peace on that on that seat in that office you're praying tonight you are praying tonight oh a friend of yours came to tell you about their problems, marital problems. The next minute, Mr. Referee, Madam Referee, you've taken over the marriage already. And you did not have shame at all, witchcraftsy. You look into your friend's eye and married her husband just like that. And you think God will watch you enjoy such marriage. He is a God of justice. Tonight you're praying. Some of you will need to leave some homes for their rightful owners. Oh, you're looking at me. You know what I'm talking about. Somebody you're praying. Now you found the truth. This is the truth gospel. Gospel. Jesus came to open a mouth to set the captives free. You will have your eyes open to see some errors so that you repent from it. Tonight you're praying. That guy was supposed to marry that lady. The day you realized they were about to marry. You lied and lied and lied and lied over until the relationship never went. And the next thing they were walking you on the aisle. Because you see how unpeaceful and unhappy you are. Look, I said we serve a God of justice. Some of you all are here, listen to me carefully. People think it's only someone who flies is a witch. If you're able to advise a friend wrongly to leave their marriage, their God-ordained marriage, I'm not talking about adulterous marriage. If you're able to lie and lure a friend to leave a God-ordained marriage, so that she will be as single as yourself. You are beyond the witch. You need to repent now. Now you have married suddenly. And you see. How do you say that in English? Tell them for me. We serve a God of justice. Now you have found the truth. You've given your life to Jesus. And you think you suddenly cover these things and God will show you as you joking. Our God is a God of justice. Until you repent and confess your sins and apologize to some of the people you've heard against. You see, this is where your deliver some of you, your deliverance will come from. Home. You don't need anybody to lay your hands, their hands on you. All you need is to repent of your sins. Walk boldly to the people you've heard and go and apologize. And they must accept your apology. Even if they don't accept it, heavens have heard you. From that time. Jesus. We're going to pray. Tonight you're praying and you're saying, Lord. There are many things I did in error, out of error, out of ignorance. But tonight I have heard truth. I come before you and I repent. I repent, Lord. Somebody are praying and saying, I repent. 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 Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Today you have become a pastor and you've covered all these things. Very soon they will start hunting you until you repent. We need to repent and walk in the holiness of God. We need to repent and walk in the righteousness of God. Because there's nothing that is hidden before God. Every secret sin is bare before him. So tonight we're praying and saying, Father, somebody you're listening to me. You see the, the topics we're talking about. If you're guilty, you're saying, Lord Jesus, set me free. 
Set me free. Set me free. Set me free from anger, strife, arrogance, jealousy, witchcraft. See, witchcraft. Where there is good, you don't like it. You must go and scatter witchcraft. See, witchcraft. See, witchcraft. See. Witchcraft, you're praying and saying, Father, wash me with your blood. Tonight, I let go of any carnality, any sin, any sin that does not glorify you, anything that does not project your glory. Jesus. 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 of you let me let me it's just coming on my mind so let me say before it disappears a friend of yours came to ask you some of you are into occult you're listening to me carefully and you knew somebody needed the blood you knew very well what they will use your friend for you introduce a friend secretly and privately see how it's hunting you all this year, see how it's hunting you. And a friend just dies like that. And you pretend as if everything is okay. Over the years covered. And now you found Christ and he hunts you. It is the right place to repent tonight. The best place to repent tonight. Jesus. You see, what you told that man concerning his wife was not true. And you know very well how you said it was not even true. And based on your words, that marriage is broken to today. This is beyond witchcraft. Repent right now. After I repent, take your big head wherever you went to destroy that marriage and go and apologize. That is where your deliverance will start. I'm telling you something. We need to repent genuinely. Ah! You destroyed that marriage. And now you've gone into your own marriage. And what you did to somebody is hunting you. I'm telling you, it's not any witch, it's you. We need to repent in the name of Jesus. We cannot hide under the clock of hallelujah and pretend as if everything is okay. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. May God deliver his people. You have destroyed someone's ministry just by lies you said. God may have called somebody genuinely. But you allowed yourself for the enemy to use for you to lie and keep lying until the church is collapsed. Repent. Repent. For the kingdom of God is near. Very important. We have erred in so many ways. Somebody had favor before someone who would have helped them and transform and change their lives until you walked in and began to talk about the person negatively. Up to date. Whatever the person wanted to do stopped. May God forgive us. May God forgive us. So these are the things that are tangling our lives. You have been smoking all your life. You have destroyed your own lungs. Over the years you go and they tell you you have lung cancer. And somebody tells you it's from a witch. Somebody say, may God deliver us tonight. 
May God set us free tonight. Tonight, the Spirit of God will arrest a lot of people. And not all, a lot of y'all are not going to sleep. You're going to be in prayer. You're going to be in deep prayer after this program. You're going to be praying and praying and crying unto God. Because deliverance, your deliverance has come tonight. Your deliverance has come tonight. Somebody as you're being convicted and you're crying unto God. Your deliverance have come tonight. Your deliverance have come tonight. I said your deliverance have come tonight. May God show us mercy. I don't know what the time is, but wherever you are, the sound of my voice, I want you to lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Wherever you are, lift up your hands. Brood over my soul. Sweep over my soul. Holy Spirit. Sweep over my soul. And just as I come, as I lay at your feet, Holy Spirit, brood over my soul, sweep over my soul, Jesus, sweep over my soul. There's someone here you have slept with your best friend's husband. You have slept with your, your, your best friend's husband. And your friend, you're still friends, so but you have slept with their husband and they don't even know. And that thing is hunting you so bad. Tonight you need to confess unto God and confess to your friend. Your feet, Holy Spirit, sweep over my soul, sweep over my soul, sweep over my soul, Holy Spirit, sweep over my soul. in so many ways may God deliver us tonight in the name of Jesus may God set us free tonight in the name of Jesus Father we come before your throne room of grace oh God let your grace abound unto us set us free oh God let your blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel speak tonight Father wash and cleanse and purify us oh God Father, your word says that if we repent from our sins, you're faithful. And just to forgive us and cleanse us from all our iniquities. Oh, tonight have we repented, oh God. Tonight have we repented. We turn from our wicked ways tonight. We turn from our sinful ways tonight. Lord, let your blood speak tonight. According to your word. Be it unto us, oh God, according to your word. name of Jesus. Somebody shout and say amen. Shout and say amen. Now you're going to pray. There are many things that Christians we we long for God to do in our lives. Some of you want to really live a holy life for God but 
Your carnal man takes the best of you. Tonight, may the fire of God burn in you so that you'll be able to cry before God so that the Lord Jesus will reveal himself to you. This is my prayer for you tonight. Because it won't be long, Jesus Christ is coming again. Everything we do here is not just for, for you to come and, and be entertained. No, 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 no. This is a serious spiritual work. This is a serious soul clinic. This is a serious soul clinic. That perhaps the Lord Jesus will embrace somebody, set someone free, save a soul, heal somebody, transform somebody. So far as you've repented, it will be the beginning of the work of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. I see a lot of people confessing tonight. May the Lord answer you. May the Lord answer the sincere heart. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight you're here. You don't know Jesus. You've heard that Jesus came to set the captives free. Jesus is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. That where sin abound, grace abounds even more. He is a loving father. He is a lion and a lamb. He is a just God. Tonight you're here, you want to give your life to Jesus. Perhaps you're looking at me and saying, Esther, I've robbed many people. I have killed many people. I have destroyed many lives. I don't even think Jesus loves me. I said Jesus loves you that much. And tonight, if you dedicate your life to Jesus, the Bible says that blessed is he who sins are forgiven and not remembered anymore. The Lord will begin a fresh start with you, a new journey with you. So you, tonight, you're here, you want to give your life to Jesus. I want you to just lift up your hands. Let's do this before I go. Everything we're doing here, if you did not surrender your life to Jesus, we did not do anything at all. The only thing that causes the whole host of heaven to rejoice is when a sinner repents and dedicates their life to Jesus. It causes the whole host of heaven to rejoice. Tonight, you're here, you want to give your life to Jesus. I want you to lift up your hands, please. Lift up your hands, lift up your hands, lift up your hands. And then after we have, you have given your life to Jesus, I'm going to go through the prayer. Somebody is saying, we're going to be praying. Praise the Lord. We're going to be praying. I'm going to go through the prayer request. I'm watching it now. And we're going to be praying as we read, as we read along. As I read along, we're going to be praying in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're here. Just lift up your hands. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I know I'm a sinner. But I know you came to shed your blood for me. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I want to take you as my Lord and my personal Savior. I want you to come into my heart. I want you to write my name in the book of life from henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. And let the saints of God say, Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody save tonight. Somebody save tonight now. Somebody say tonight, somebody say that I pray for my country, Liberia. Father, we pray for Liberia tonight in the name of Jesus. And we use Liberia as a point of contact for Africa. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, bring healing to Africa. Father, bring your presence back into Africa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sister Rosling is saying, I'm praying for believing God for healing. We pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord heals you in the name of Jesus. He is our healer. Jehovah Rophe, he is our healer. We pray in the name of Jesus. We join our faith with yours. And we pray in the name of Jesus. May the healing wings of God 
touch you tonight in the name of Jesus. Somebody saying that, oh, 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 Michuku. He's saying, my sister, pray for me. I need Jesus in my life. Brother, you have Jesus. You have Jesus tonight. If you accept Jesus tonight, you've got him. You've got him. Just receive him in your heart. Receive him in your heart. Receive his love. Somebody says, Sister Helena, I need a personal relationship with God. How can a young man keep his ways pure, Sister Helena? It's only by living and living in accordance with the word. Lord Jesus, let your people have an encounter with you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, pray for my child to break afflictions in my life. Sister Karina say, pray for my child and to break affliction in my life. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. We break any work of the devil. We soak your child even in the blood of Jesus. Uh, somebody saying, pray for God to send me my spouse. May the Lord answer your prayer. May the Lord answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. Uh, Sister Beatrice is saying, I love your child. God bless you, Sister Beatrice. Ah. Please help me pray for my daughter to accept the Lord and restore her marriage. Make your, make your, make your daughter your prayer point until things change. Father, hear the prayer of your people. Hear the prayer of your people. Somebody want to speak in tongues. Walk in the righteousness of God. Walk in the holiness of God. Abide by the word of God. Exhibit the fruit of the spirit. And speaking in tongues will be a bonus. Somebody says, again, somebody says, I need Jesus in my life. I said something, I said, you've got Jesus. You've got Jesus, you've got to take his love. Accept the love of Jesus. I said, accept the love of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Jamaica. Somebody said, I pray for, I need prayer for my country, Jamaica. We pray for the youth of Africa, the youth across the nations of the world. We pray in the name of Jesus for direction, protection. We pray for the fear of God to abound. Even in this sinful world, may the fear of God abound. May the fear of God abound in the lives of our children. In the lives of our community, in the lives of our children, our parents, in the lives of Christians, may the fear of God abound greatly. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, please pray that the Holy Spirit minister to those I will restitute to. I owe me day, sister. I owe me day, brother. I owe me day. Let me tell you something. Even before you decide that the Spirit of God had gone ahead of you already. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me let me give you a testimony and I'll go on. That's a sister's testimony. A sister came to me and said to me that Esther, my documents are with the people and my date of birth and all the process was lies. And I remember telling her that let's trust God and you go back there and talk to them. It was by faith. We spoke in faith according to God's word. Now this lady went and spoke to the authorities and then they went to court and look at what God can do. The Lord, the Lord did something unique. Where the authorities said that you've been forgiven, whatever you did, you did not know you forgive, you've been forgiven. They have reinstated their date of birth and everything back to their normal stuff. So anytime you decide you are convicted by the Holy Spirit to, to go and restitute, to go and confess to somebody, the Spirit of God is able to have prepared their hearts. That is the power of God. So fear not. Somebody said, my left feet is hurting. Is what? Receive healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive healing in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, pray for my boyfriend to receive a visa from Canada. Your boyfriend, not your husband. When are you getting married? When are you getting married? 
Jesus. Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody saying we pray. Somebody saying let's. You want us to pray for your daughter and her papers. You see every paper being done in abroad. That the process is false. How can we pray for God to answer? Tell me. You see, God, the word of God does not contradict itself. Let me ask again. Okay, you are doing a processing a paper. And if the process is false, which kind of God are we going to pray to? Who wants us to be truthful? Repentance is very important. Sometimes I don't know the kind of God we meet along the way. Praise the name of Jesus. Anything that the process is false. Here, we cannot pray and tell God to make it work. That is contradictory to the word of God. And if we should do that, we are liars. In fact, we help you to lie. We don't do that here. Some of you are pastors who bless marriages that you know are for papers. You need to repent. There are many things people have done out of errors. But now that we know the truth, we'll be judged accordingly and your judgment has even increased. Just because you know the truth. May the Lord answer you. May the Lord answer you, people of God. May the Lord answer you. I need direction in my life. It is only the Lord Jesus who gives a perfect direction. The Holy Spirit can be your great director. If only you walk before him and be blameless, he will direct your path. The Bible says, lean, on, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's right. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, there is somebody who said, I need direction. And this is the word that dropped in my spirit. That's what I'm saying. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. This is Bible. This is Bible. That's why, Sister Princess, again, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. May God bless you all. Somebody say, I'm crying right now. Listen to your powerful words. My family is broken. My marriage is broken along something, something. May God restore. You see, again, any marriage that is, that is, um, let me tell you. If someone married and they are divorced and their wife or husband is alive and you have gone to marry them. You see that marriage, we will not pray here for God to restore it for you. It's not yours, it's an adulterous marriage. But if it's you are the first wife, you are his first wife, only wife, and that marriage is broken, then may the Lord we serve repair every broken marriage. That is of him. This is Bible. We will not pray out of the context of the word of God. It does not work. Praise the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you so much. May the Lord bless you. The Bible says that the desire of the righteous shall be granted. So if you are righteous, may the Lord answer your prayer. And if you are not righteous in the sight of God, may the Lord help you to walk in his righteousness. May the Lord help you to understand and find and know who God is. So that you will be able to please him. So that every door that needs to open on your behalf will be open in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. If I follow you, people, I know we'll go. Pray, pray against the spirit of fear. You see, the Bible says that God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of boldness and of sound mind. So if you have the spirit of fear, it's not of God. And as a child of God, if you have the spirit of fear, 
question your own spirituality and be on fire for Jesus. For he did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of sound mind. The Lord bless you so much. Spirit, my spiritual word. Ya etia. Ya ata. I don't understand what you're saying. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. I love you all with the love of Jesus. And there's nothing you can do about it. My lightning system keeps playing up, but I don't mind. The Lord Jesus has been glorified. Tonight, I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank you for coming out to share bread with us. Anytime we share the word of God, it's food for the soul. Hallelujah. It's so exciting. Help to pray for a life partner. It's possible. May the Lord answer you. If you're praying for a life partner, you've never married before. If you're married and your partner is alive, we're not going to pray here for your, your, for your partner. Go and go back to your wife. And if you're here and your partner is dead, your husband, your wife is dead, that's different. But, praise the Lord. But if it's contrary to God's word, please. Ah, may the Lord bless you all. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace, perfect peace. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you. I love you so much with the love of Jesus. Once again, I want to say thank you for coming out. Uh, by the grace of God, I'll see you all either tomorrow on Mon or Monday as the Spirit of God leads us to come. It is my prayer. Please be on fire for God. Anytime we come here, we finish, get the word of God and begin to open your Bible. Begin to align the word of God, the scriptures to what we've talked about and begin to pray. Let it be your prayer topic from tonight and begin to pray and war before God. Don't just come and listen to us and sleep. Be prayerful because the times and the days we are in are evil. And understand that, you see, this heaven journey, this eternal journey is an individual affair. Hallelujah. So you cannot depend on any man or woman of God. Never do that in this end time. We're in the end time. Never depend on anybody. You need to go and buy a Bible if you don't have it. And begin to open scriptures. And begin to sit down and call the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, I need you to tell me, what is this? What is the meaning of this? Holy Spirit, I need you to explain this to me. Holy Spirit, I need you to talk to me. Holy Spirit, I need you to... Now, you need the personal relationship with Christ. Then will you see the glory of God. Then will you enjoy the benefits attached to knowing Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. Help me to pray to stop smoking and masturbation. You see, apart from praying and fasting, Olga Kesto is about prayer and fasting. You need to fast and pray and divorce any spiritual demon attached to these things and you have to make up your mind to come out of this you have to be you know your will is in your hands you have to decide you have to decide to come out of it and then the spirit of god will help you god bless you so much i love you with the love of jesus and there's nothing you can do about it please remember that without holiness we cannot see god you and I will not see God without walking in his righteousness. This earth is our rehearsal ground. And anything we cannot rehearse here, forget it to go and enjoy it in heaven. You want to enter into the holy city, you need to be holy. You want to enter into the holy city, you have to be holy here. You want to be a candidate of heaven, it is a prepared place for a prepared people. So you need to prepare yourself here on this earth. Don't just be a church goer. Don't just be a church goer. Be prayerful. Be prayerful. Have a personal relationship with Jesus. And your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. God bless you all. Have a blessed weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your family. Be prayerful. Women, be pre women of this end time, you know, stop the carnality and begin to pray for your family. Be prayerful. When you pray, things will change. Things will happen. When you begin to obey the word of God, things will change automatically to the glory of God. God bless you so much. Have a blessed, 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 blessed weekend. Bye-bye.